What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today. It is a gorgeous day and I'm actually going to a brand new city today. So I'm going to be dumpster diving in Highland Village. It's about maybe only 20 minutes away. So I'm going to drive on over and I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, I just got to the very first spot. I don't really know where to go in this city, but I came to one business, but they do have a compactor right wherever, <laughs> right there. <laughs> so um, yeah, compactor at the first spot, but hopefully we'll find some stuff and we're moving on. All right, I got to the first one. Uh, nothing in there. Oh look, it says right there. I didn't see that. All right. And nothing in there. All right, nothing at the first spots. Moving on. All right, so this one's recycles only. Yeah, just boxes. That was so loud. Okay, nothing in there. <laughs> Moving on. All right, this one says it's Lane Bryant and Kirkland's. Wow, and it is empty. All right, we might have come on a bad day maybe. It seems like all of the trash cans are empty, but the recycling bins are full. So I don't know, we'll keep going. There's more right there, so we'll go to those. All right, that one's recycling only. So is that one, it says no trash at it. So let's see about these. And I think this is the recycling, but let's check. Yep. And that's this store, five below. So darn, nothing there. All right, moving on. All right, let's see. Look at that big rip right there. I wonder if they slashed them all. Yay, these are, look like they're all from Old Navy, is that right? Yeah, Old Navy, it looks like they're returns. Might be it from here. Yay, we found something. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, that one whole. So maybe they didn't slash them all. Oh no, look, they did. Oh, that's so frustrating. Yep, they're all 100% slashed. Let's see about this. That shirt actually, oh no, whole. 
Okay, well, we'll look through them in more detail at home, but there we go. At least we found a couple things and hopefully some of them are still usable. So, all right. All right, I drove a little further away now. I'm in Louisville, so let's see what they have. Oh, look at this old radio. <laughs> that is awesome, I love it. I'm gonna take this. See if there's a CD in there. Oh, there is a CD. Awesome music, it says it's called, so we'll have to give it a listen. seeing anything down there. All right, well, we got the little stereo and we are out of here. All right, All right. let's see. smelling dumpster ever. It smells like flowers. This is what it smells like. Nice. I'll take this. It's still full. It just has a broken cap right there. And that might be it from here. All right, we found what smells so good. <laughs> so we'll take this, go to some next ones. There, I buckled it in so it won't spill. <laughs> All right, next one. Empty. And empty. This one, actually, I'll show y'all this one. This is half price books. I never really come over here anymore because it um, says like no trespassing and stuff. But I want to show y'all all of those. Every single one of them is filled with books. See? <laughs> Every single one of them. I have yet to figure out what they do with them and I would really like to know because this is like the biggest place or like the only place I've ever seen throw books out in this mass quantity like this. The little trash cans say Connex recycling on them so maybe they're going to be repurposed, maybe they're going to be recycled but I wish that they would be donated somewhere where people could just read them instead of them being turned back into paper products or whatever they do with books when they recycle them so I just wanted to show y'all that it is so many books I wish I could just take as many as I wanted but they have all these signs posted saying they have cameras they say no trespassing and stuff so I'm not gonna break the law for the books but they are here and yeah it's just kind of sad seeing them all in the trash can so I wanted to show you guys that <laughs> and now we'll be moving on all right this is one of my favorite spots in Louisville and they just got a new dumpster oh my gosh look at all the candy on the ground literally all over the ground and all over the dumpster. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is so much candy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I would get all of those individual pieces out of there. Oh no, there's no one on this side. Dang, okay. Should I take all that candy? I don't know. Should I try to get some of it? Okay. Oh my god. This is like the claw machine at an arcade. All 
I want to jump in here so bad and just get it all, but there's so many cars driving by. I'm like so exposed right now because that's like a main street right there. Since I can't get in on the other side, I don't want to jump in on this side. Um, wow, that is so much candy in there. just be a missed connection. Um, it's really difficult to get the candy out with my little grabber because it only gets like one piece at a time, but I did get a few in the bag. I really, really just want to get in it and just like get all of it, but I'm so nervous. Obviously couldn't get it all, but I feel better now that I have a full bag. Whew, okay, there we go. A ton of candy. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, it makes me so anxious to get in. Oh my gosh, especially one that's kind of more enclosed like that. I know their trash doesn't get picked up today, so I'm not worried about the trash truck necessarily. I'm just worried about like an employee coming up from the other side of me not being able to see them. So, all right, we got a whole bag of the loose candy from Party City. Whew, all right, I guess we're moving on. <laughs> all right, I'm back in Denton now. This is a thrift store. Ooh, I like that plant actually. Okay. It's a nice bag I'll use if I find stuff. There's a nice little shelf. one with the head off. That's cute. Can be washed up. a nice fake plant. Artificial plants are really easy to sell and it has a nice little basket with it. Alright. That's awesome. This giant Christmas rug. Take that.
right, there we go. Big fake plant, big Christmas Santa rug. I grabbed a little like tapestry thing. I couldn't really tell what it was, but someone is standing behind those dumpsters. I think they're just from one of the other shops over here, but I was like kind of ready to leave because I'm not sure what they're doing. So we are headed out, but so excited for that stuff. So, okay, that was probably the last stop. I'm gonna head home and I will show you everything all laid out on the table. All right, I'm home. We'll say hi to Pilg. <laughs> hi, boy. Pilg, come outside. <laughs> oh my gosh. What you doing? Is like the prettiest day. I hope he isn't going inside to get a toy. Let's see what he comes back with. There he is. Hey bud. <laughs> She's going in and out. We need a doggy door for him. Okay, so I'm home. Everything's laid out on the table. We saw Pilgrim. I will now show you what we found today in the dumpsters. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, it looks kind of small at first. Let me turn the slide on. But I'm so excited about all of this stuff. The first things, we got the little stuffed bear. Pilgrim loudly drinking water in the background. <laughs> we got the little Christmas bear. He's very cute. Let's see if there's a tag. This is the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. All right, so there we go. You wanna smell him? <laughs> There's our little Christmas bear. He's very cute from the thrift store. Whoops. We also got this little shelf. I'm not sure if it goes above like the toilet maybe in the bathroom or what, but it looks perfect for like extra rolls of toilet paper or maybe some hand towels on it. So there's that pretty cool. We did get this, which I'm actually really excited about. It's broken on the top, but you can see it still is pretty full in there. It's probably like 75% full. I'm sure some just spilled out, but it smells really great. We do a lot of laundry with all the clothes that I find. So it's always great to find laundry detergent. We found the big tree, which I'm very excited about. Oh, look, they were trying to get five bucks for it. I can definitely get 10 for this. Uh, that'd be pretty easy to get for that. So here it is. It's kind of short, but it's nice and pretty and big, full of life. So there's our tree that we got. I love the basket. The basket is actually in really good condition. A lot of times if I find artificial plants, the baskets are all torn up. But there's that one we got right here. <laughs> A giant Ziploc gallon bag full of candy. So there's that one, and then we had just a tiny bit left over, so these are the only sized bags I have. So <laughs> there's two little bags. All of this will get donated to the little free pantry in town. So there's all of that. I'm gonna put most of the rest of the candy into individual bags like this so that someone can just grab and go with them. They don't have to commit to this whole bag of candy. So there's all of that. Now underneath, I'm really excited about these things. We got two tapestries from the thrift store. This one, which is beautiful, show them the light. It's smaller. It's probably three feet long, two, two and a half feet long maybe. The only thing that's wrong with it is its beam right here that you hang it with only has the like, you know, hook thing on one side. So it does kind of slip out on this side, but it's still really pretty. Someone could definitely find a way to hang that up. So there's that, I love it. And underneath, we have the Santa rug. And I'm shocked. I mean, I know it's not Christmas season anymore, but this is beautiful and I can't believe that they wouldn't try to sell this. It like has not been used. There's like no dog hair or anything on it. It looks like it's in excellent condition and it's probably, I would guess three by five. So pretty big. Uh, there's the back. And yeah, so there's our giant uh, 
Christmas man. What's his name? <laughs> Uh, I'm forgetting Santa Claus's name. Father Christmas, though, is what I was really trying to think of. So, there's our Father Christmas uh, rug. We love it. I'm not going to keep it, but I do love it. Um, but I don't want to keep it until all the way till next Christmas. So, this will be for sale, but probably just locally since it's so big. It might be a little hard to ship. But I'm so stoked about the rug. So, there he is. What else do we get? Oh, here comes Pilgrim. <laughs> we got, oh, okay. Oh, and look at this little guy. <laughs> this thing's probably not gonna work. It is so beat up. Uh, whenever I found it, I really hadn't found much else, so I wanted to take something, but uh, this thing, I'm gonna guess, does not work. I'll have to get batteries or find the right cord for it. Uh, definitely needs to be cleaned up, but it is a Sony, and I think it's kind of cool. These are old, I don't see these very often. So there's that. And then our final items that we got today, I want to talk about for a second because I'm so sad about them. So these are from Old Navy. These are all of the clothes and every single item has been uh, completely slashed. So let me show you a couple examples. This one right here says the reason they tossed it was that there was a hole in the shoulder. So I found that hole tiny tiny little hole very easily mended or just kind of sewn up or sold for a discount uh, but instead they threw it away and they box cutted big slashes in it and you see that with every single one this pair of athletic pants just didn't have an inside tag okay no inside tag but it still says the size right there they're small but no inside tag, so they did go ahead and completely slash them right there. It's so, so disappointing to me when I find stuff like this because the size, inside size tag, who cares? These are perfectly good athletic pants. They're really cute. They're super soft. And instead of selling them at a discounted price or donating them, they just completely ripped them open. It's the same thing with all of these. This one had a pocket button missing. That's what it says right there. Right, oh, look at that. It's just the snap. So the other side of the snap is missing right there. Again, so fixable, but instead they cut them completely open. So that's what it is with all the pants. This one doesn't even have a reason, uh, but they're slashed. These two both have broken zippers, which I don't know how to fix those, but lots of people do. So again, could have been discounted, could have been donated broken, but they slashed them all open. This little one might have just had this hole already. Uh, this fabric feels like it could snag kind of easily, so there's just a big hole in that one. Uh, but the reason they threw it out, I guess, is says it was washed, so I'm not sure if they made that hole or it was there already. This one had a snag on the chest. This one probably is just how it was. They probably just tossed it. Um, so there's just a big hole in that sweater. So these are all of the clothes, y'all, and same with these shirts. They just had slashes, big slashes, slashed right there. So I'm never, like, entirely sure what to do with clothing that I find that has been slashed by the company. I hate just putting them back into the trash, but a lot of this stuff maybe people can't use it after all uh, just with how badly they've damaged it. So if y'all want to comment and tell me if there's something I can do, maybe people can, like, buy old denim and like repurpose it like super cheap. I don't really know. If y'all have any ideas for me with these clothes, because they are really nice. Um, I hope that they're not just completely ruined, but I don't know. They might be with how big like of a slash and everything, very prominent areas of the item. So I don't know. If y'all have any ideas for me on that, please let me know, because I hate just putting things back in the trash. Um, and I don't have to do that very often but with clothes like this I'm not really sure so if y'all have any ideas for me that would be super awesome but yeah that is that is our whole haul I am like very excited for today I've been having some trouble getting out and going and dumpster diving and just like getting myself to do it so today felt really good that we accomplished something and we found a bunch of cool stuff in the trash and a lot of stuff that I'm going to be able to resell. So very, very excited. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me that you guys enjoy my trash videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all soon and have a great day. See you later.